to get pregnant on the last day of your periods? Can a woman get pregnant on the last day of her periods? In this video, I'm going to answer this question that has been asked by one of our friends. Tomorrow is the last day of her periods. She is asking, will she be able to get pregnant? Omchara asobola kufuna olubuto nga abadde kuluna ko lusemba olwa periods asobola kufuna olubuto oba nedda. Mweno video ngenda kudda mu kino kibuzo video gisigaleko era ngenda kuba nkuwa answer. So when we look at the menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle remember involves the first day you see your periods up to the next day you will actually see your periods again. The first day you see your periods, let's say your periods starting today, and then up to the next time you are going to see your periods again. That distance, or those days in between, the length of those days is what we call the menstrual cycle. And remember, different women have different menstrual cycles. There are those who have regular menstrual cycles which run for 28 days. There are those who have cycles menstrual cycles that run for 30 days and even 35 days and then there are those who have menstrual cycles that are very short that run for even uh, 20 days mo menstrual cycle ndikogera ku chetu ita obwanvu obwa cycle yo obwa obwanvu obwa period zone ona kuloso so kulaba periods pako ona kulojjo kudamo kulaba periods ona kulusoka do to ita the menstrual cycle muri ma bachala abali na cycle enyimpi muri ma bachala abali na cycles empanvu ekibuzo kiri nti oja kusobola kufuna olubuto kulunaku olusemba mu period zo now when we are to analyze the menstrual cycle specifically know very well that in the brain there's what we call the hypothalamus the hypothalamus is an organ that is actually responsible for many functions but in this particular video we are talking about periods so we are going to talk about the hypothalamus in relation to your periods as a woman the hypothalamus remember is a small organ in the brain specifically in the in in, in your mid brain the hypothalamus is an organ that is actually responsible for releasing a hormone known as the gonadotropin releasing hormone gnrh this hormone once released travels through some special blood vessels known as the hypophysial portal system and then these hormones power to another small organ known as the anterior pituitary gland now it is this small part or it is this anterior pituitary gland that actually goes on to release two hormones known as the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone why am i talking about the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone these two hormones are very important they are going to play a very important role in answering this question that has been asked the question is can a woman get pregnant during the last day of her periods the question is can a woman get pregnant during the last day of her periods i'm answering the question and i'm starting from the hypothalamus which releases a hormone that's gnrh this hormone once it released it travels to the anterior pituitary gland and then once the anterior pituitary gland receives messages from the hypothalamus that now release follicle stimulating hormone the follicle stimulating hormone will be released remember hormones are chemical messengers chemical messengers specifically mean or by saying that chemical messengers i mean that these are chemicals that are released in one part of the body for example, in the brain, in that part I've talked about known as the pituitary gland, the anterior pituitary gland. Now, once these hormones or these chemicals have been released, in this particular case FSH, it is going to pour into your bloodstream and then it will go to your gonads or it will go to your ovaries. Once the follicle stimulating hormone reaches your ovaries, it's actually going to stimulate 
as the name says, as the name suggests, is going to stimulate the growth and maturation of your follicles. Let me repeat in Uganda. Mubongo bomuchara, mulimo akatundu ketuita ka hypothalamus. Akatundu kanu kafurumia hormone, jetuita gonadotropin releasing hormone, GNRH. Hormone eno webe mazoku wanga efuruma, legenda kuita mbusua obutini. Emisuwe jetuita the hypophysial portal system. Hormone eno ngeise mweje emisuwa, eja kuhika muka tunda akalala oba mupate ndale yobongo jetuita the anterior pituitary gland jukira wali wone posterior pituitary gland but in this particular case tuliko gera ku period so tugenda ko gera ku anterior pituitary gland also known as the master gland bajiita master gland kobe kola efuge ebintu binji nyo so Hormone eno jetuise gonadotropin releasing hormone. Webe furumiza zine bili FSH ne LH. Ozu ulira nyo. Uh, 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 but doctors wazo gira ko nyo. Gendo chekinge FSH. Gendo chekinge LH. Doctor wabaya gala kumanya. Hormone zizi ne bili zidi zitia. Ok? So. Hormone zizi. Tetuli oko gira ko kusawa zino ye FSH ne LH. FSH egenda kuika mosaigo, egende paka kumajigo. And then wetuka kumajigo, egenda galetera okubanga gakula nga gama chuaringa. Remember, FSH once released, it actually enables the growth of your follicles. And remember, follicles are those coverings where the eggs or what is supposed to become a baby grows from. Okay, so what enables or what helps those follicles to grow is what we call the follicle stimulating hormone. They grow from the first stage, also known as the primary stage, they go to the secondary stage. And once they reach the secondary stage, FSH would have done its part. Another hormone is going to be released. Remember, I said there are two hormones, FSH and LOH. LOH means luteinizing hormone. Once FSH causes the growth of these follicles and they reach the secondary stage, another hormone known as the luteinizing hormone, LOH, is going to be released. Still, it's being released by our, our anterior pituitary gland. Okay, So, once luteinizing hormone has been released, then it's actually going to create a suitable environment for the whole process of egg release. LOH, luteinizing hormone, is going to bring about the whole process of ovulation. And of course, you will know that you are ovulating, you as a woman, if at all you experience signs like probably an increased discharge around or uh, an increased discharge, which is kind of like egg whites, okay, raw egg whites. And then, of course, there's going to be a rise in your body temperature, slight rise in your body temperature and then of course there's also going to be an increased urge libido to be with your partner once all these signs are being by you then we actually say that you are experiencing ovulation being brought about by a hormone known as luteinizing hormone and of course once ovulation takes place the egg is going to be released and then of course we expect that if it is fertilized it becomes a pregnancy it becomes a baby if it's not fertilized it's going to be shed that is in the next or in the last two weeks of your menstrual cycle the question was can a woman get pregnant during the last day of her menstrual cycle when you do not get pregnant there's going to be shedding of your endometrium okay together with some other things like uh, the corpus luteum where the egg came from that empty shell they are going to be shed okay so after this whole process of period has taken place on the last day will you be able to get pregnant okay of your period the last day of your period will you be able to get pregnant the answer is no it's very difficult for you to get pregnant why because during ovulation you did not get pregnant the uterus got messages or it sensed that you did not get pregnant and period started okay once the period started it means that whatever was in was washed out in form of periods you have to be patient and wait for another time to ovulate you have to be patient and wait for the next cycle